Hi, this is Mario with Mario's Math Tutoring. In this video, we're gonna have a preview to the huge ACT Math Review video course that I just put together for you. But this is a, one of the lessons of the 65 different lessons in the video course. So if the math section of the ACT is something that you struggle with, this video course uh, could help you boost your score. And it goes through 65 concepts. It's three and a half hours worth of video. There's teaching sections and there's opportunities for you to practice. We go through the examples. Uh, uh, together. So if this is something that you struggle with, check out the video course. I'll have links for that. But in the meantime, enjoy this uh, preview. I'm going to have two others like it. So I'll see you in the video. Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about averages and means. So this is definitely something you want to understand on the ACT. They usually test this in a couple different formats. Let's go through it. The first thing you want to know is the formula for the average or the mean. The mean is just another name for the average. And so what you do when you calculate the average is you total up whatever it is that you're working with and you divide by how many of those that there are and that's your average. Now on the ACT they may have you solve for the average, they may have you solve for the number of items, they may have you solve for the total, they may have you solve for one of the missing quantities. So as long as you know the formula you can substitute in what you know and solve for the unknown. So let's go through two examples and uh, you'll get a better feel for how this works. So the first example is a little bit more straightforward example. It just says, what is the average number of fish caught by the fishermen? And there's a table over here. It's got Bob, John, Alex, and Sam. It shows you the number of fish that they caught. Maybe it's like a fishing competition, something like that. And we're just trying to figure out what the average is. So go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and see if you can solve it. And then we'll go through it together. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is using our average formulas, we want to total up the number of fish caught. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got, uh, let's see, 8 plus 2 is 10, okay, and 6 plus 4 is 10, so 10 plus 10 is 20, so it's a total of 20. So that's your total right here, divided by how many people are in this competition, there's 4, and so that's going to give you your average, which is 20 divided by 4, which means it's 5 fish on average per person. So the answer is five. Now that one was pretty easy. Let's do a little bit more challenging one. Uh, example number two, it says, if you have scored an 87, 76, 88, and 92 on the last four tests, what do you need to score on the fifth test to have an overall average of 90? Okay, now this is a pretty uh, popular question both in uh, your class as well as on the ACT. People are wondering, what do I need to do to get up to that, to that A minus range, right? So go ahead and see if you can solve this on your own and we'll come back together and we'll do it. Uh, together. Okay, so basically what you want to do here is we're still using this average formula here. The average is the total divided by the number of uh, tests. And in this case, your average you, that you want is 90. So let's put that in for the average, 90. And then the total is going to be 87 plus 76 plus 88 plus 92. Okay, now the fifth test, we don't know what that is, so we're just going to call it x, okay, the unknown divided by the total of how many tests here. Now some students will make the mistake of saying, well, there's four tests, but now when we add on that fifth test, we have a total of five. Okay, so then what you wanna do now is you're trying to get the x by itself, that unknown test. What you can do is multiply both sides of the equation by five, okay? This is like five over one, so these are gonna cancel one another out. Five times 90 is 450, and then uh, let's go ahead and total these up. Of course, you can use your calculator, so let's do that. 87 plus 76 plus 88 plus 92, that's 343, okay, 343 plus x, and of course if we subtract 343 from both sides, okay, x equals, well, let's see what does that come out to, that looks like, um, let's see, let's just do it on our calculator real quick, minus 343, it's 107, so you would definitely have to get the uh, extra credit right on this this last test to, to boost your grade up to a, a 90. So again, means or averages, definitely an important concept you wanna understand for the ACT.